NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission was a spacecraft mission designed to study and collect a sample from an asteroid called Bennu. OSIRIS-REx was part of NASA's New Frontiers program, which focuses on exploring the solar system with relatively low-cost missions. Here are the key details about the mission. The primary goal of the OSIRIS-REx mission was to study the near-Earth asteroid Bennu and collect a sample from its surface. The objectives about getting samples retrieved from the asteroid is to get an idea about the origins of solar system, how planets came to what they are today, and about organic compounds that led to life in our home planet. Bennu is a carbon-rich asteroid approximately 500 meters in diameter. Bennu is like a time capsule from the very beginning of the solar system. With its classification as a B-type asteroid, a subtype to the carbonaceous C-type asteroids, Bennu is considered a primitive asteroid, which means it didn't undergo huge geological changes since its formation. These unaltered remnants from the early universe make it a celestial gem. Another reason Bennu was chosen as a destination was availability of pristine carbonaceous material. This carbonaceous material is an elemental cornerstone for the organic molecules that is essential for life. It's also the kind of matter that predates Earth's existence. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft was powered by solar panels and had a sample acquisition system for collecting asteroid material. It was equipped with scientific instruments to study Bennu, including cameras, spectrometers, and a laser altimeter. OSIRIS-REx is the first American spacecraft to venture out, touch an asteroid, and bring back sample from its surface. Previous missions included the Japanese probes Hayabusa and Hayabusa 2, which made their mark in asteroid exploration. The spacecraft was launched on September 8, 2016, aboard an Atlas V rocket. After 55 minutes of ignition, OSIRIS-REx separated from its launch vehicle, and the missions was declared as exactly perfect. No hiccups, no glitches, just a flawless start to a new mission. On December 3, 2018, NASA announced that the OSIRIS-REx had reached to Bennu, matching its speed in orbit at a mere 19 kilometers away. The spacecraft got closer to the asteroid performing flybys of Bennu's surface, approaching as close as 6.5 kilometers to explore Bennu's contours and track its orbital path. As OSIRIS-REx circled ever closer, it revealed a surprising find, hints of hydrated minerals, specifically in the form of clay gracing Bennu's surface. Although Bennu was thought to be too small to host its own water, these hydroxyl groups suggested a connection to water from its parent body, long before Bennu had its cosmic split. OSIRIS-REx entered orbit around Bennu on December 31, 2018, at a close distance of about 1.75 kilometers. This is the closest distance that any spacecraft has ever orbited a celestial body. While learning Bennu from this point, it took 62 hours for the spacecraft to complete a single orbit around the asteroid. As OSIRIS-REx made its descent towards Bennu, the mission's TAGSAM instrument, designed for this very moment, sprang into action as the spacecraft made contact with the asteroid's surface. To keep things under control, a five-second timer was set to ensure the collection time was just right and reduce the risk of any unexpected cosmic collisions. With unmatched precision, OSIRIS-REx touched down within a 92 centimeters of its intended target location. At the end of five seconds, the backaway maneuver was executed flawlessly, ensuring a safe departure from the asteroid's surface. With the precious sample collector head safely tucked away, the sample return capsule's lid was closed and securely latched. After collecting the sample, OSIRIS-REx remained in orbit around Bennu to continue studying the asteroid. On May 10, 2021, the spacecraft maneuvered back to Earth, carrying within it the invaluable sample from Bennu. The journey back home lasted two years. On September 24, 2023, at a distance of 101,000 kilometers from our home planet, the spacecraft released the sample return capsule into the vast expanse. As it re-entered Earth's atmosphere, it blazed like a comet at a jaw-dropping speed of 44,500 kilometers per hour. The capsule parachuted down and touched the Earth at the Utah Test and Training Range. The canister housing the Bennu dust revealed black powder-like substance. The dust underwent a scientific test. An electron microscope scrutinized its minuscule features. X-ray diffraction revealed its hidden structure, and infrared spectroscopy unveiled its cosmic fingerprint. It was even given the cosmic equivalent of a medical checkup with a computed tomography machine. What surprised everyone was that this inky black extraterrestrial powder has an abundance of carbon, and not just a smidge, 
but close to 5% by weight. But it wasn't just the carbon that captivated the attention. The water content was equally astonishing, nestled within the crystal structure. Curiosity sparking aspect is that this water, locked within the minerals, might hold the key to one of the greatest mysteries in Earth's history. It could very well be the source of the water that our planet has, which means the very foundation of our water-rich world might have arrived 4.5 billion years ago from such asteroids. Once the full sample is meticulously extracted, a portion of it will be shared with researchers worldwide, opening the door to countless more cosmic revelations and scientific adventures. We didn't just meet our goals, we soared past them in a cosmic triumph. What OSIRIS-REx brought back was no ordinary sample. It's the largest carbon-rich asteroid sample ever to be brought to our planet. But that's not all. Sulfide minerals, vital for planetary evolution and biology, and iron oxide minerals known as magnetite that react to magnetic fields were also found. Other minerals, perhaps crucial for the evolution of organic compounds, still wait to be researched. Looking ahead, scientists aim to uncover whether the building blocks of life, amino acid chains called peptides, have taken root on Bennu. This cosmic dust and rocks from both the surface and interior promises to reveal the asteroid's history, how it was born, and how it transformed through the eons. But it's not just about the past, it's about the future. Understanding Bennu's composition will help us prepare for any potential celestial collisions and offers insights into how to deflect asteroids like this if they ever come a bit too close. These cosmic rocks and soil will be meticulously analyzed at the Johnson Space Center, where scientists will conduct their researches for the next two years. And here's the most thrilling part. Not all of it is for us. NASA plans to tuck away roughly 75% of this cosmic treasure into an archive. It's a gift to future generations of scientists, to those who might not even have been born yet, to work in laboratories that are yet to be created, using instruments we can only dream of. But the mission didn't end here. As NASA declared in 2022, OSIRIS-REx will continue the quest as OSIRIS Apex, a cosmic explorer with a new mission and destination. And as the name implies, OSIRIS Apex's next cosmic stop is the near-Earth asteroid 99942 Apophis. The spacecraft will reach this celestial object on April 13, 2029. And for about 18 months, OSIRIS Apex will settle into an orbit around Apophis, similar to its mission at Bennu, researching asteroids' cosmic mysteries.